whole lot of options because you know I'm bitch popping. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zarya Shakira back again with another YouTube video. So today, I don't even think I have to say anything, but as you all know, Megan Thee Stallion just released her Hot Girl Summer song and let me just say it's a bop it's a bop and what makes it even better is she got nikki on it cease cease so yeah you already know if you don't i do have a music artist inspired series on my channel and i do feature a lot of artists album cover artwork so it was only right that i do this one for the hot girl summer and if you don't know, I am like a OG hottie, so Megan's been my girl since 2018, so get with it or get lost. If you didn't know, I'm not a big old freak hottie, I'm an OG hottie. But we'll get all into that when I start doing my makeup, but I just wanted to let y'all know that. But yes, let's get into this look, and I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, so I did prime and color correct my face, and I feel like now that I have the color corrector on my face, it's making my hair look more red than orange, but whatever. So I'm just gonna go in with my foundation now. The foundation I'm using today is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation in Sienna. This stuff is amazing. I actually used this in my last video for the first time, and I love it. I can't read your mind, gotta say that shit. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to take my foundation. I normally do my eyebrows first but in the last video I did I did do it after the foundation and it still looked pretty good so I'm just gonna do that I'm not new to doing my eyebrows after foundation I just normally don't but today that's what I'm gonna do she a big old freak it's a must that I hit it's a hot girl summer mm. don't forget the neck goings this song is such a bop like if y'all don't make this the song of the year, song of the summer, there's clearly a problem and y'all are hating, but we'll get into that a little later. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all. I don't know if y'all have this foundation, but I really do feel like this gives me like skin-like makeup and I love it. Like I look like I already have a little bit of highlight on. Like that's just me and I love it. Anyway, I'm going to do my brows off camera because I have several videos featuring me doing my brows. So I'll be back after I do that and then I'll get into concealing and the look and yeah. All right, so now what to make a video without telling you the foundation and concealer. So the concealer I'll be using today is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I actually love this stuff like this. This is it. But I'm in the shade 10 and I'm just going to conceal my face. Read your mind, gotta say that shit. Look, I was about to move on to contour without setting, girl. You a little too excited. So, I'm gonna be using two setting powders. Uh, one is the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder and the other one is the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. I can't read your mind, gotta say that shit. And that's probably my favorite line of the whole song. And if it look a little crusty around my hairline, I did dye my hair recently, if you can't tell. So the baby hairs are kind of like a light orangey blonde color. I don't know how, but I guess because the baby hairs don't really grow, so it stays that color more than your roots. But that's that on that. Don't ask me again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I love this little foundation, concealer, 
contour everything like this well some of the makeup i have is new and i'm liking how it wears on me especially this can't stop won't stop foundation while we're talking about it shout out to Alyssa ashley because first of all this foundation is amazing however she recently got to do megan's makeup for her paper magazine shoot <laughs> and my god congrats to Alyssa because like Sis is, is literally like glowing up monthly, weekly, daily, like everything she do, she just glows up. So I love her. She's like my, probably my top three favorite makeup artist on YouTube. So love it. Such a dream come true. I wish it was me, but congrats to her. <laughs> One of these days I will be doing Megan's makeup, mark my words. Really all I want to do right now is just do like a cheetah leopard inspired makeup look on her. All I need to do is her eyes. <laughs> That's all I want to do. But hopefully if she shoots anything else for fever, she'll be like, girl, I like your little cheetah eyes. <laughs> so then to dust off any excess setting powder I have on my face, I'm taking my Maybelline Matte and Poreless um, powder in 360. And I feel like my contour got a little lost, so I'm just going to... So moving into the eyes, I'm just going to conceal a little bit of my eyelid. I normally don't when I do shadow, but I guess for this look I might as well. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit or let it dry up a little bit. If you haven't watched my latest video on my makeup, <laughs> it's very long, so if you have time, you can watch it. If not, it's okay. But I did recently get this um, Morphe 35H palette, and I love the colors. And I really feel like it was God telling me to get this palette specifically because the look I'm about to do with this palette. So it literally matches the Hot Girl Summer single cover perfectly. If you don't know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. It's like peachy pink shades, red shades. It's that neonish blue that she has for Hot Girl Summer. And I'm just like, thank you. Because you spoke to me and you told me to get this palette. I literally looked online and was like, which palette do I want? I just thought it was a calling. So here I am today. I just don't know exactly the look I want to do. I just know the colors I want to use. But I'm just going to blend it in my outer crease area, in my lid. And I'm just doing that very lightly because I don't want it to be like a burnt orange eye. All right, I kind of want to do a cut crease because why not? Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do like a, I'll do like that pinky shade, the cut crease, because in this cover, Nicki Minaj has her wig, which is pink, and the flames behind them are pinky too. So I want to have like um, a peach eye, but a pink cut crease. I'm going to take the shade Coral Diving. Or I could do like the neon pink background and then this light pink as the cut crease but i think i want a neon cut crease so i'm just going to stick to what i wanted and just see how this goes and then i'm just going to take this red shade which is called fire starter how amazing for the sake of this video so i'm just going to like go on the outer crease So, an old friend of mine in the beginning of 2018 played this song for me called Cocky AF. It just came on because they wanted to hear it. I was just sitting and then I heard the song come on and I was just like, shit kind of go hard. And then I heard the song, I was like, this, this really slaps. So after it was over, I was like, who is this? 
it was like Megan Thee Stallion. I was like, oh, I've never heard of her. Cocky AF was the first song I got put on to by Megan Thee Stallion. And since then, I've been a fan, okay? And she did also, don't want to forget, she did have a mixtape before then. It was called, it's called Make It Hot. And I actually love that. Once I got put on to Cocky AF, I listened to her old stuff. And I was like, this girl is raw. Like, I love everything. She had another mixtape beforehand, but like nobody knows what that is called. It's actually called Rich, what is it called? Rich Ratchet, I think. I actually haven't heard that because it's like nowhere to be streamed unless you like deep search for it. So I will listen to it if I can find it, but I love every single song she's ever put out. Like no cap, I'm not even exaggerating just for the sake of the video. Like I love literally every song that she put out. And it kind of reminded me of how I was when Nicki Minaj first came out. And it's just like, how ironic that they are now on a song together. It's very iconic. Like this is this is really an iconic moment. If it's not for you, it definitely is for me. Megan does have um, a series on her channel, on her YouTube channel, it's called Hottie World. And like episode two, she was doing like a bedtime <laughs> Q&A basically. And one of the questions was, who would you like to collab with? And she didn't say the name, but the saying that she did say, obviously told you it was Nicki Minaj and look here we are, 2019. Shout out to Nick. Everybody know who Nick is. If you don't, it's like a ride or die hottie. And he told her to get on the live that Nicki Minaj was going on a day that they both went live at the same time. And that's basically how they collab. And it was like, oh my gosh, like if he didn't say anything, Hot Girl Summer would just be her entire dollar sign. And just so it doesn't transfer, I'm just gonna do like a full cut crease, FYI. Yeah, I haven't done a cut crease since like 2018, so please don't mind me. All right, that's as good as my cut crease is gonna get today. And another thing, I don't wanna hear no more, <laughs> look, I sound like Megan. I don't wanna hear no more talking about how she don't fuck with the city girls and all this stuff because obviously she does. She be screaming free JT. She said it in Realer and she, she quoted the act up phrase in this song. So all y'all can just stop trying to get views and get clout and get retweets and all this stuff. Ain't no beef between them. So stop trying to bring down all the females in the industry. Anywho, I'm just gonna take this bright pink. It's not, it's like a bright deep pink, but it's kind of like neon like. And I'm just going to pat that on my eyes. This is just my version of my interpretation of the album artwork from Hot Girl Summer. So this isn't really showing up as neon as I thought it would, but it's still okay. And if you don't know, Megan is definitely my best friend in my head, <laughs> but she really has like amazing friends like I'm not talking about the industry friends. I'm talking about her real friends from her home. Like, they are all just friend goals. Like, I want all the smoke coming. Don't you run, you see me coming. I just think it's really nice that her and Nikki got to collab because now, like, I really feel like her career is gonna take off, not only just for collabing with Nikki, like, obviously it's Nicki Minaj, but she's really been working. She's really a raw rapper, like, she can rap so i see nothing but success for her and i just hope she prospers like she deserves it she's worked for it and yes i'm always support her i love her work her look is everything she is goals she's a trendsetter like hello i do think the transition is a little soft i may just do like a gold line over this cut crease but I think I am gonna darken up the transition area a little more. All right, so I think I'm still going for the same look that I had in my head, but I think it'll come together like once my face is done. I think right now I'm just like, mm, I don't know, but we'll see. I'm gonna take this blue, it's like a light, light neon turquoise, I would say. And this shade is called ocean drive shout out to 21 <laughs> and i'm just going to actually put this underneath my lash line so so i did go ahead and add this gold line above my crease 
it's the shade oh, i really wish morphe would have just put the names on the palette not on this thing so it's called poppy <laughs> and i think it's a really cute like color to accent the look so there is some yellow in the um album artwork too so all right so while i'm waiting for my lash glue to dry this isn't like a um what is it what they call it basically like a my first thoughts or final thoughts or my thoughts on the song because i don't like do that kind of stuff on my channel but i will say it's definitely a bop definitely love it it definitely should be the song of the summer and the year period i just think people aren't gonna like gas it because one she's a new artist they don't really know her music like that they think she's just promoting sex appeal and that's that but i just feel like if ty dollar sign wasn't um the hook or chorus whatever you call it, i don't know the terms for it if he wasn't on the song and drake was on it they would be playing this everywhere right now so i just think that people are just gassing the most known artists and that's why like a lot of things don't go number one but regardless of the fact it's gonna speak for itself like this is a bomb ass song only thing i would say about nikki's part i love nikki's part only thing only thing i love nikki so don't do not come for me in the comments but i just wish she didn't rhyme degree with degrees that's literally my only critique about her verse like this is a bop it's not supposed to be like a hard like bar for bar like she spit her bars megan definitely spit hers but that's my only critique about Nicki. I love the song, so I'm gonna be playing it. I've been playing it since I've been doing my makeup, so yeah. Oh yeah, and another thing, um, being that it was like last minute for them to do the song, I do like how Nicki didn't just like do her verse and go. She stayed to the end and did her little singing little things on the end, so I thought it was pretty cute. Like this song is definitely like, it's a great song and I think it's worthy of going number one because it's a summer song so why wouldn't it go number one in the summer summer isn't over till September so there's plenty of time for that to happen it actually did go number one the night it uh dropped but you know how people are they just listen to it and then be like okay next look if it's back number one just know it was because of me I'll be listening to it all the time <laughs> all right and for the lips call me basic but I love this lip combo this is my signature lip combo I do it almost in every video but I will be taking my wet n wild it's actually an eyeliner but I use it for my lips and I'm just gonna line my lips You can't be a hot girl if you don't like glossy lips, so period. And then after I line my lips, I am going to take my Fenty Glow Fenty Gloss Balm. And plus, Megan supports Fenty, like, <laughs> y'all already know how I feel about Rihanna. That is my fave. Then after that, I'm going to take my regular gloss. You can get this from the beauty supply store and just add that to my lips. Like I said, <laughs> you can't be a hot girl if you don't like gloss. And because I'm extra AF, like very extra, I'm also gonna take that same liner that I used for my uh, top lash and create a couple moles. I do have a mole on my neck, if you didn't know, it's right here. So I like to bring it all together with some moles on my face. it gives the face a little more character and moles are cute i actually have moles on my face but you can't see them and yeah so i'm embracing them now so when i get old i'm gonna be like oh <laughs> last but not least we're going to highlight and i'm actually using my other favorite highlighter Aaliyah jack actually put me onto this like years ago when she uh obviously used it on her channel but it is the nyx cosmetics duo chromatic illuminator in this in the shade synthetica this is like the perfect highlight shade for me and i also like to use this one because when i wear gold accessories i like my my highlight to match it i think that's like a makeup tip like you want your highlight to match your accessories i don't know but that's just what i think So 
just FYI before the video's over, y'all already know I'm about to give y'all a concert, so <laughs> I love music, it's tatted on me. It doesn't say I love music, but it's a treble clef with a heartbeat beaten into a heart, which means music is the beat to my heart, okay? So I love music. Then to set my face, I'm gonna be using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, and then on top of that, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. hot girl z is here so guys this is the final look at first i didn't think i was gonna like it because of how like subtle the back transition was and then the bold lid but it's really cute i think this little yellow gold accent and the blue under eye definitely helped the look and it's really cute like this is a look period poo before i get into my closing you know spiel i do want to shout out this producer on youtube his name is dices and i just like supporting the poc community so shout out to him because he actually made like a lot of beats that i've used on my channel especially for like music artist things so yeah i really like his channel so go subscribe to him my other thing i want to say is maggie big sis maggie if you're watching this video, if you ever need anybody to do like a cheetah look on your eyes, preferably for like Shake That, Simon Says, or Sex Talk, because that will fit so perfectly, just call me up. But anywho, I'm really excited for this song. Like this song is a bop. Like I don't care what y'all say. Like if you don't think this song is good, if you don't think it's a bop of the summer, like you're really just a hater. I'm glad it's out because I wanted to do a summer playlist on my channel and how amazing is it now that we have an official Hot Girl Summer song, like, period. I'm about to add this to my summer playlist. So if you wanna see that, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Again, sis, if you're watching this, Maggie, hi girl. Um, we're ready for the R&B album. I don't know, you know how long it's gonna take but i'm ready i don't know if her next album is gonna be the r&b album but she's working on an album so i'm excited period i don't know what it's gonna be all her stuff is amazing from make it hot from tina snow to fever everything she's ever produced is fire even her features on um other songs is a song called she live and girl i love that song i hope you guys like this look i hope you guys like this video if you are new to my channel hello subscribe welcome make sure if you like this video you do press the thumbs up button go ahead and subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on instagram which i will leave in the description box below other than that you know get into this look but i will see y'all in my next video bye Just a real ass bitch, give a fuck about a trick On some real ass shit, and we really with this shit Put this pussy on your lip, give a fuck about that dick I get that and then I, I grab my shit and then I do oh.